Okay, so <laughs> I still have a whole bunch of this paint mixed up from fixing the horse wave. So I thought I got these at Walmart. Uh, it's just like a cork circle for four bucks. So why not pour on it? Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use up all the paint I have left pour it on and then do some swiping. Yeah. In need of some vitamin C. <laughs> I think you're supposed to use them as a hot plate, but meh. We're gonna use it to pour on. Because... Oh, look at that, it's pretty. <laughs> this is that pewter. Swiperoo. I like it. Just fun swiping.
There's some awesome cells happening in here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to torch a little. Fun. <laughs> There's some really pretty cells. I love these big circles. These were just at Walmart super cheap for like four bucks. It's like a cork board, but it's perfect to uh, pour on. Neat. Well, it's using up some of the paint. <laughs> and we'll let that dry. Hey guys, so this is the cork that I poured on from Walmart, and I just thought I would show you. Um, I'm trying to zoom in. <laughs> we got some really pretty cells on it, but when the paint pour dries on cork, you do kind of see the cork come through. <laughs> I'm going to try and zoom in as much as I can. You guys can see, you see the cork coming through? I don't mind it. I think it looks pretty cool with the, um, it's a different texture than canvas with all the cells and stuff, so I don't mind it. But uh, I just thought I'd give you guys a heads up when pouring on cork. You can kind of see the porous, it's just a different texture, but I really like this one. Um, I think I might use some Liquitex gloss on it. But yeah, that is the round cork pour with some blues. <laughs>